What's cracking you two? My name's Brody and welcome to episode number 8 of our Pokemon Y Wonderlock that's been going down on the channel as of late. So in the last episode, we what we did was we continued on from Professor Sycamore's lab, a little bit of a grinding montage. We went uh, and chatted with Diantha and Lysander in the cafe. I can't remember what the name of the cafe is. But then after that, we made our way to Route 5, got our encounter, which was a Bunnelby, which wasn't too bad, called it Trollersby. One had traded that one out, and we got a Flabebe. Flabebe. And that wasn't too great, to be honest. It was Flabebe, Flabebe. You can catch it, like, pretty much anywhere these days, like, in this game. So that's not... Not anything too special, but in today's episode, we're going to continue making our, making our way through Route 5 and just kind of see what happens. I'm just winging it. I don't really, I can't re really remember what happens in this game, so we're just going to wing it and let's continue on. So we ended it right here at the story, accidentally pressed on the touch screen, so we skipped over whatever it said before, but um, let's continue. Let's continue. This Pokemon hordes are certainly intense. Yeah, they just like a dance they're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon aren't they oh yeah no do you ever think about anything besides dancing nope even during Pokemon battles I'm always checking out their moves <laughs> he's such such a classy character sword stance oh hey it's big a do you know any sweet moves show me in, in a battle oh dear I didn't know this was coming oh dear Look at that vanilla shirt. That's solid. Look at his face. So serious though. God damn it. And we got Ponyta starting off. That's no good. That is not good at all. So we're definitely swapping out here. I'm paralyzed in everything. No, I don't want Squirtle. Let's go. Let's go Kangaskhan. We should be able to take it. We should, should be able to take a hit and then go retaliate with some comment punches and knock this core fish out. Alrighty. Comment punch. Okay, well, that failed miserably. Oh no. This is terrible, we've missed twice now. Come on, Kangaskhan, pick it up. This Corfish is setting up now as well. So that Vice Grip could do some solid damage too. Oh. I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna be able to take another one. I shouldn't have done that, I should have totally healed then. Please. I was gonna say, please hit three times, please. Whew. There we go. Getting them levels though. Kanga Sound is definitely the learning bite. I love bite. Let's go. Tower Whip. You learn bite. Only one Pokemon, god damn, I was expecting like at least three or something like that anyway. That was some nice footwork. Cheers. 1200 bangers for winning. Jeez, Tiano, calm down. Good to see you, Amity. Excuse me, I'm in Big A. <laughs> I should have called myself just something other than Big A. <laughs> Yo, Big A. <laughs> it, it does seem as though Tiano can only think about dance moves. Yeah. He definitely can. Dancing is love. Dancing is life. It's, it's good to be serious about some things. I'll definitely take some honey with me. Thank you. Thank you for the honey you see. Using honey will encourage your Pokemon, Pokemon hordes to appear. So if you're going to challenge a whole horde, you may want moves that can hit multiple targets. Yeah. See, hordes could be interesting. Because if we have honey, and then we enter a new route, and we get a horde, potentially, from what I know going off the Wonderlock wonder rules, is you actually get to... K 
attach them all like individually or from what I know in like a double battle you have to encounter them singly and then try and catch them and all that sort of stuff so I'm not exactly sure how it works with hordes so that could be interesting you can get a potential like five Pokemon which could be interesting but I, I don't know who knows if it happens it happens if it doesn't then it doesn't Pancham. So from what I know, Pancham's going to be in Sun and Moon, going off the trailer that they released so far. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see an X and Y Pokemon make a return in the new game. Let's go. Let's see what this guy wants. I haven't been able to sleep for sleep very well for days. But he's up for a battle. He can't sleep well, but he's up for a battle. That is dedication by Rising Star Hamish. It's got a cadaver, that's power. Setting up, eh? I'm trying to make it so I get... Ooh, dang. Ponytail is killing it. Ponytail is absolutely killing it. Oh, that, that does way too much damage. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I can't take another one of those. I definitely cannot take another one of those. I'm gonna have to go heal up or something of that nature. Because we're still damaged from the twins, so the paralysis on Ponyta. And then Kangaskhan got damage because it just kept missing. But here. What's this? Oh. No! I zoned out. I completely zoned out. And I didn't realize that we missed that first attack. Or some I, I don't know. That sucks. That really sucks. I didn't realize Squirtle's already at half health. That sucks. That, that's that's a real buzzkill. That really sucks. This Kadabra is driving me insane. Like I'm not surprised that we lost to the Kadabra. Like, lost that to the Kadabra. But come on. Not Squirtle. <sighs> that is so depressing. That is a sigh of depression. We just lost Squirtle. God damn it. God damn it. I just wasn't even thinking. Like, So Rising Star Hamish takes Squirtle off my hands. That sucks. That really sucks. So let's go fix this up. I just don't know. I'm gonna do it, like watch back and see what happened because I, I didn't realize Squirtle was already on half health, half health, or did I just like, did I miss an attack and then get hit and then get hit again? Because yeah, I don't, I have no clue. So we'll heal up, but then we'll box Squirtle. I really didn't want to have to create the death box this early. <laughs> I didn't think we'd lose anyone so soon. The feels, guys. The feels. So, this is going to be the death box. Whoops. No, we want to go into organized boxes. Rename it. Delete. 
E. A. Dead. Sad face. <laughs> no. <laughs> Level 13, so close to evolving. <sighs> Do we want anyone? Do we have any... So we got Remoraid, which we can get. We can actually get Remoraid out, but I don't want to do that yet. Because it is level 25, and that's a little bit o overkill for now. So who do we have left? Uh, so we got no resistance to... Uh, yeah, no real resistance to water or anything anymore. No one to surf on. But we do have run rate in the PC, so that is okay. We'll wait until we get to around like level 20-ish, that kind of mark in the game. And then we'll pick up Rem Raid, or if obviously a thing gets a little bit... Mistakes like that continue to happen, we may need to get it sooner. I keep scratching my head because I'm just like, oh, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. <sighs> God damn it. Let's get out of here. God damn you. Let's pick this item up. I should pick that item up on my way back. That would have been smart. Ah, oh, the feels, guys. The feels, the feels, the feels. You don't know, like, you never really understand the importance of having a member in your team until it dies in a Nuzlocke. Like seriously, like once it's gone, it is gone. And it's just like, oh. He slopes though. Should be able to pick this up. Yeah, not ran berry. That's nice. That's that's very useful. Somewhere impossible to reach. Yeah. Love that. Big improvement on the gold and silver games. Having those Oranberry trees, like they're huge. They are huge. But we lost Squirtle. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to like, I don't know, walk away after this recording for a little bit and just like reflect on like what just happened. Like watch back what just happened. Let me know in the comment section below, like what did I do? Like, what happened? Where did I go wrong? Because I just can't remember. Like, it's, obviously I did something wrong. But I just can't remember what. <laughs> God damn. So distracted. So we got a rising star with Tyson with the Bidoof God. Look at those buck teeth though. Arr. Look at Ponytar. I think Ponytar is my fave so far in the team. I don't, I don't mean to pick favourites, but I think Ponytail is my fave. Look at that. Creep! Get wrecked. No, nice. so yeah, we'll just cruise through the routes. We'll uh, make our way through. No real rush to like do anything um, when it comes to speeding up through the game. We'll just play through. I keep saying this, we'll just soak it all in, because it is my first let's play. I gotta, I gotta learn how to speak. I, I, I gotta know what to talk about when it comes to these situations. But let's go up here, let's see what this roller skater wants. She's gonna practice against me. Practice what? Falling over? This is what she's gonna do. She's got that bottom beach, she's got two Pokemon. I think we need a fighting type. We need a fighting type to do something. I don't know what for. But we need a fighting type. <laughs> I don't know what. It'd be crazy to get like a hit on top through like one to trade. That'd be awesome. You never, you never, ever, ever get to see like a hit on top anywhere these days. Cool, so Ponyta has officially become the strongest member in our team. Imagine if we get like a shiny off one trade, that'd be sweet. That'd be so good. 
because at the moment I'm actually recording this on the hashtag WTW Wanna Trade Wednesday in the US. So I was expecting like, maybe like a little bit of power to hopefully hit like another route in this episode. There we go. So not too much longer left in this episode, so we'll just we'll grind these couple of trainers. And hopefully we can make our way to to wherever's next. I can't even remember where's next. We're just winging it. So I think the smart thing would have been against that um, cadaver was to. Oh, actually, no, I don't think hypnosis would have worked. It would have been neutral and done nothing. Psychic against psychic. God damn. Yeah. That wouldn't have worked. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, stuck in the middle of the grass. So let's run away. I should have got some like repels or something. Oh, I was at the at Lumio City. So there's a TM there. What else is here? So there's got to be something here. No, there's nothing there. Ah, oh, so you gotta get some speed up to get over those bumps. I didn't. I had no speed. That's why I fell off. So let's t test that. I see. I'm so inexperienced when it comes to these. Yeah, look at that. Crushing it. Yeah, they grind. The skills that pay the bills, you know what I'm saying? But let's go. What do you want? You look like a seasoned traveler. I bet you're good at battling too. I definitely am good at battling. Thank you. Thank you. Hike. Hike. What a fitting name, Hike. Cool. Let's use flame wheel. Should probably stop maining with uh, ponytail. We need, we need to switch it up a little bit. Nice. Thank you for the XP. I really appreciate it. Backpacker hike. Let's go over this. Okay, that was a trap. It was a trap, guys. It was a trap. Youngster Kita with a pan save. I just think we gotta swap out of Ponyta, but that's okay because we got a grass type here. Because I think we need to get back to Kangaskhan because Kangaskhan needs uh, a bit of work. I think it's falling behind. And be being a normal type, there's nothing obviously that it's effective yet. Effective against because we don't have any moves that are effective against anything. But we're gonna learn Storm. I think I'm gonna get rid of Horn Drill. Now we get rid of Ember because Horn Drill could be funny. Horn Drill could be very funny to use in the future. Stomp is useful just to get that neutral, like normal damage off on something. I kind of like. Uh, I like to just have like a nice balance between all my moves. Cool, so we are at Camp Free Air Town. Appreciation for the music, I love it. I love it. I can't wait to hear the soundtracks in Sun and Moon. But what does... What does... Thank you using the Holocaster. Lysander Labs developed the Holocaster to make lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. Thank you. Is that all? Okay. That was all. What do you want, old man? It's about time. It's about that time again, huh? The lazy lug will be back soon. Okay. Don't know who you're talking about. But, okay. Dang. Hmm. 
No, I don't really want to know anything too much, eh? Good old Cassius. Cool, well, let's heal up. And I think this is going to be a better place than any to wrap up today's episode. So we kind of like, once again, like, a bit of a grind. The whole start of the game is going to be a lot of kind of like, grinding our way through routes. And yeah, just losing Pokemon, you know? <laughs> losing Pokemon, oh no. Uh, but where's a nice, a nice spot to end today's episode? Oh look, there's a big bridge. I don't want to go there yet. I don't want to go there yet either. See, so so what else is there to do in the next episode? There's a wall there. Is this like the berry place? Oh no, it's just an item. Must be on the next route as you keep heading like west. Starfies, definitely sell that one. It's like some free coins. It's like a random door and it's just a star piece. It's like, okay. Okay. A town where you can taste the ages. Shebano Castle. Let's end it here. I don't know. That'll do. So... Very sad episode today. We lost Squirtle. Oh, I, I just oh, can't believe we lost it against a trainer. Like it wasn't even a gym battle or anything. That sucks. That sucks. Let me know in the comment section below what was the first Pokemon you ever lost in a Nuzlocke that you played personally, or just in general. What was the one that made you feel the worst about losing? Because, yeah, it just it just feels terrible. It feels terrible to lose such a good Pokemon as well. One of the Kanto starters. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks. But, yeah, let me know about that in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed today's episode, be sure to drop a like down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in episode number 9 or another one of my Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.